So today, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic copyright date that you can put into the footer of your website. Now, you can use Elementor Pro or Pro Elements to achieve this. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, the free alternative is Pro Elements. Now, if you want to get Pro Elements, there's going to be a link above and a link in the description of where you can get that. So it doesn't matter if you want to use Elementor Pro or Pro Elements, the steps in this tutorial will be the exact same for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the back end of our WordPress website and you have Pro Elements or Elementor Pro installed. We are going to head over to Templates and we're going to go into the Theme Builder. Okay, so now that the Theme Builder is loaded, I'm going to be putting this dynamic copyright within the footer of my website. Now you can use this anyway, you don't have to have it in the footer, you can put it at the bottom of a post or maybe in the privacy policy, it doesn't really matter. But in this tutorial, I'm going to do it inside the footer of my website. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to my main footer, which is the footer of my website. I'm going to click on that. And then on the top right, I'm going to click edit. So now the theme builder is loaded up, I'm going to head over to the bottom of this footer. And I'm going to be putting the dynamic copyright in the very last section of this footer. Okay, so let me head over to the bottom. And this is the section where I'm going to be putting it in. Okay, so now that the widget we are going to be using is the text editor. So if you look on the left hand side, you can see on basic, we're going to go over to the text editor. I'm going to click and drag that across until it's in the right position and I'm going to let go. So now that the text editor is in place, you can see on mine that it's very dark and I want this to be white. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to style. I'm going to click on the text color and I'm going to change this to white and I'm going to have the alignment of the text center. So now that I'm happy with that, we're going to go back into content on the top left. Now you don't have to worry about putting any text here in the text editor because what we're going to be using is dynamic tags. Here in the content section of the text editor, we're going to be looking for the dynamic tags icon, which here you can see is this little icon over here and we're going to click that. Now you can see that this pop-up has dropped down and what we're going to be looking for is current date time. So if I scroll down, you can see under site, there's going to be the current date time. We're going to click on that. And now you can see that the text editor has actually changed to the date. And we're going to customize this date because we're going to have the copyright word and we're going to have the copyright symbol. Okay, so now if you don't have the copyright symbol, all you have to do is head over to Google on a different tab. And in the search bar, all you have to say is copyright symbol. So let's go do that now quickly. So here we are in Google and I'm just going to type out copyright symbol. See, here's the search results for copyright symbol. You can see there is the, the symbol right in the top left. All you do is click over that, select it and say copy. Now we can head over back into the editor and we can actually insert it here. So in order to put in the word copyright and the copyright symbol, we head over to this wrench icon here that's next to current date time. We click on this and you can see this whole new pop-up drop down. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the date format. So I'm going to click this into custom. All I want is the actual year, so I can select all of this and I just say capital Y. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go over to advanced. And what I'm going to be looking at is this before little input box. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to type out the word copyright and then I'm going to paste that symbol that I got from Google. Now that we've written all that, you can see that there's no space in between the copyright symbol and the year. So all you have to do is behind the copyright symbol, just add an extra space. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make a dynamic copyright year. So when next year rolls over, this is obviously just going to roll over to the new year. So if you're happy with your footer, you don't want to stylize it anymore. All you have to do is click on update. Now remember, this isn't limited to the footer. You can put this anywhere you like. Like I said before, inside a post, privacy policy, absolutely anywhere. I hope you liked this video. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just send a comment down below and let me see what I can do. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that stuff helps my channel a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.